Vim is really smart in how it has text objects. There is one that we probably all know. So let's select inside of brackets, rather including them. This is really amazing if I say want to change something inside of them. So here I go and whatever else. But often I want to delete this entire block. Usually what I just did is not something that exists in Vim. Usually how would you go about it is select uh, including brackets, delete them and then DD. I find myself doing this really, really often. So I created a somewhat shitty solution to this problem. Now, when in visual mode, I can type in inside M, so I am, or fully, Vim, which is kind of cool, because as far as I'm aware, M is not a text object. And here it is, it selected the whole block of code. Surprisingly enough, even though I didn't implement that, this works. V2 inside M does what you would expect it to do. However, I'm not sure why it does that. I'm glad it does, but I didn't make it. If you have an answer to why it works, once I show you the actual remap, I'll be really glad to see how, because I don't know. So Vim, or uh, VIM, uh, selects inside. So if we do Vim D, the remaining line after the block still remains. But if I do VAM and delete, we take the following line as well. This is such a lifesaver because say I want to take this function and move it into its own file to make it its own library. Well, now I can just do vam d boom instead of I would usually do d15 down, which works, yeah, but I have to actually put in a number, a specific number. And if this function is too long, well, usually I would toggle fold it and then type in an even bigger number, uh, which is kind of whack when I can j just do vam and boom. All right, now to the implementation. It's pretty simple. When in visual mode, uh, if you do inside M, first you do A for A side. I actually don't know the mnemonic of that. If you do, please let me know. Uh, capital B, the same thing as this, but I find capital B to be more easily pressable for me at least. Uh, oh, what does O do? Let me show that off uh, visually. So V, A, B, okay, now we're uh, at the bottom um, squiggly, no, squirrely, curly bracket, yeah. And when we press O, we go to the other end of the selection, and then we press capital V to select that line as well. Uh, I guess that, hold on, uh, that this would also work the same way, keeping the normal selection. However, I'm not sure what the difference would be in this situation, and I think it doesn't really matter. Nevertheless, um, yeah, I think going to the start of the line would have to be zero instead of caret because otherwise it would break the indenting in some situations. Nevertheless, that's that. Uh, and for am, we just do j. So we, when we are here, we just do j and then go to the start, which I know is a whack solution uh, because if we are in this block of curly brackets and do the AM, this happens. So 
all of this is just to say that this is incredibly useful, but I don't know VimScript. Uh, I'm mad at it, this is just my solution. I am more than sure I'm not the only one who fucking craved for it. However, help me out and help all the viewers out. If you know how to write an actual text object for this kind of thing, leave that in the comments or contact me on Discord. I would love to talk to you to figure out how it actually works. And uh, if you do, I'll mention you in my next video. I might unlist this one and re-release the video. So I'll mention you in that video, uh, link your GitHub profile or whatever else you want uh, for people to have a good actual text object solution to this. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, definitely subscribe to not miss my other Vim videos and check out my HK videos as well. And goodbye. <laughs>